Snowy Wastes. Limb Space Classification. Difficulty, 5 out of 5. The extreme cold is fatal to all who enter. Entity Count, 0 out of 5. No one other than yourself will be present. Chaos Gradients, 5 out of 5. The climate in the Snowy Waste is completely unstable. Bassett Frazier Index, 3.3 out of 5. This limb space is one of the most lethal ones currently known. There is no possibility of survival. Description The Snowy Wastes are a combination of rural and suburban regions, consisting of villages, fields, and forests covered in a constant layer of snow. The ground here is frozen and, as such, extremely tough and exhausting to dig through. It has been observed that deeper layers in the ground are significantly colder than those above. The houses inside the suburbs are locked, but can be broken into if sufficient force is used. Said houses are fully furnished and supplied with electricity and working heating systems, although without a working internet connection. Constant cloud cover obstructs the view of potential celestial objects. No life except oneself will ever be present in this limb space, including other potential explorers of this place. Despite this, one can hear the sounds of birds chirping in distant traffic, along with potentially spotting footprints and tire tracks on the white ground, creating a weak illusion of life. During one's travels through these white plains, one has a constant sense of foreboding and an omnipresent sense of imminent doom. Some have stated that it feels like the surrounding environment itself has malevolent intentions. Extended Presence Extended presence within the snowy wastes will result in a gradual reduction in temperature. This cooling of the temperature is also accompanied by some kind of day and night cycle, with the time at arrival being morning and the temperature at the time being described as cold, but bearable. Over the course of several hours, however, the temperature will have dropped to a frigid and bone-chilling temperature, where unprotected skin contact with the air is said to cause frostbite in mere minutes, and spilled water freezes mid-air. Along with the lethal temperatures at that point, the light will start to dim and redden, resembling a sunset. The omnipresent feeling of doom will also worsen over time. What was an unsettling feeling of wrongness and danger at the beginning will develop into severe anxiety and panic. Strangely enough, it is stated by some survivors that they seem to be scared by something far worse than the prospect of freezing to death, though none could figure out what exactly it is. Any survivors are thought to seek shelter inside the houses at this point, as the heater should allow them to withstand the harsh conditions. Once the sun has set completely, the ambient noise stops, and the street lights have turned on. The night will have begun, and the possibility of survival will have ended. The only noise remaining during the night is your own breathing. These are the final moments of life that those trapped within will have. The Night The climate will render this place inhospitable due to the night temperature, dropping far faster than during the day. In a matter of minutes, the temperature will plummet to levels that are absolutely lethal to any biological life currently known, resulting in those trapped within presumably dying of instantaneous frostbite. There have been no reports of people managing to survive using the heating systems inside their homes, likely due to the temperatures being so cold that the heaters failed to protect the survivors sufficiently. Based on this, it can be assumed that the climate during the night reaches extremes akin to those of at least distant planets in the solar system, or perhaps even outer space. Due to this, the night in the snowy waste is one of the most fatal circumstances oneself can find while exploring liminal spaces, as no one has ever managed to survive it. The Sewer Grates Oddly enough, one of the most notable aspects of the snowy waste is a simple sewer grate near the place where one enters, through which a constant stream of warm air can be felt. To the trapped wanderer, it is a curse and blessing at the same time, because it is the sole reason this limb space could even be documented in the first place. Smaller objects and radio signals can pass through this one connection to baseline reality and end up at the point where one entered, allowing for a one-way communication with baseline in the form of radio communication and letters. 
On the other hand, it is a mockery for the lone wanderer trapped inside, as when the cover is removed, the gateway to safety is simply far too small for even the human head to fit through. To most, the warm airflow from this object will elude a heavy feeling of safety just out of their grasp. Many have likely attempted to widen the gap to reality with brute force. However, this is ill-advised, as none who have done so have managed to send any letters or radio signals afterwards, likely due to this action resulting in the destruction of the gateway. The other negative factor is that the one-way nature of this communication sadly prevents it from easing the wanderer's isolation. Entrances and Exits Entrances Entrance into this limb space can be achieved by taking a morning stroll on a snowy day in baseline reality. If you experience a particular sense of anxiety during your travels and decide to continue on your path regardless, you will enter this limb space. If you want to avoid meeting such a fate, it is advised to listen to your instincts and choose a different route. Exits There are no exits usable to humans.